on Bloom Drive in Newport, Tennessee, just 300 yards from the freeway. The Edwina Church of God at 1751 Bloom Drive is a welcoming site, with lamb statues and other decorations sitting by the sign. And inside, the church looks normal. Eight pews, an altar, microphone, tambourine, Bibles, scripture verses. But what happens during a service is anything but ordinary. They speak in new tongues, they should take up service. They drink in dead things, not hurt them. They should lay hands on the sick. The pastor and members of the congregation handle poisonous snakes during weekend services. Over Mark 16, 17, or Mark 16, 15, so going to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature that believes and baptized, shall be saved, and believes not, shall be damned. Meet Jimmy Morrow, pastor and founder of the Edwina Church of God and part time folk artist. But I painted that the other day. I got, I'm painting, uh, and I'm painting one for a man. Around 1 o'clock that afternoon, Morrow begins his service, which can bring in up to 30 folks at one time. Jesus Christ, that you are everything in this walk of life, and we ask God bless each one that came this way, and we give you honor and praise and glory for the all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And what about those snakes? Well, on this particular Sunday, Pastor Morrow doesn't preach with one in hand. But after the service, as promised, he handles a poisonous serpent for our cameras. He keeps these snakes at his home, 30 miles from the church, and in the back of the Edwina Church of God. There is a closet full of serpent handling information and newspaper clippings. In this closet, Morrow also keeps a serpent to be used for the day's sermon. Today, he brings out a northern copperhead. Now, you're probably wondering where he finds such poisonous serpents. We wondered that too. Right over in there, up on the hill, up on the hog's top, back in the mountains, and where you just go back in the mountains. In the summertime, you can go through the mountains and go to the head of that mountain up there and find rattlers. And you can't trap a snake, you have to just go out there where they're at. Yeah, if God knows you, you can take them up. So let's take you back a few minutes to the actual copperhead handling. Morrow picks up the snake, says a prayer, and places the serpent on the Bible. Notice how the snake remains calm and still. His blue snot shall be damned, and they signs you follow them and believe in my night, so they cast out devils. They should pick in new tongues, they should take up serpents, if they drink in dead things, not hurt them, they should lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So there's one of the signs. One of the signs. Now, what exactly does that mean? Their entire religion is actually based off Mark 16, 17 through 18, found in the Bible, which says, quote, And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Now the five signs that follow these people that believe in Jesus Christ are these. Number one, believers will cast out devils by using Jesus Christ's name. Number two, believers will speak in new tongues. Number three, believers shall take up serpents. Number four, believers will not be hurt by drinking deadly poison. And number five, believers will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. After Jesus spoke of the five gifts given to the believers, he was received into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. Just read the Bible for the sale. Because all of us got the same Bible and your Bible reads just like mine. I'm just curious to know about the snake handlers. What's the youngest one that you've ever had in this church? Youngest handler? None of them don't handle if they ain't. Uh, they have to be at least uh, 20. What about the oldest? Mm, one time it was about 13 or 14. I guess the oldest one was in here was about 80. Brother Roberts, but he... Uh, He's about 80, I guess he's the oldest. And yeah, now that, that's, a, that's a northern copperhead that was... A, a lot of people like to take one like on the Bible. Take your hand right here with my pan. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
They're cold, man. They're cold this time of the year. What's the most the part you look forward to most every Saturday or Sunday? Well, this worshiping Jesus, you know, serving him, lifting up his name. That's Pam, the pastor's wife. This is Charles from Knoxville. He makes the trip every so often. Originally, Charles was of the Lutheran faith. He found the Edwina Church of God out of curiosity and has since become good friends with Pastor Morrow. A lot of people think is he real or myth, and to him, you know, it's not a question of that. It's just following, simply following the uh, word of, you know, God there. What's it like when you are handling a snake? What's the feeling that you have? Uh, just like a bucket of warm water pouring over you. So how did Pastor Morrow become the man he is today? According to his book, Handling Serpents, Morrow was told by his family as a child to stay away from the snake handlers and those who attended the holiness churches. Who'd have thunk? I remember reading in your book that you first started when you were 15 by, you saw the yellow timbler rattler. Yeah, but I was, but I was just a center boy and I was just ignorant and unlearned and I was making fun of the holiness people. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, I taught me a lesson. <laughs> taught me a lesson, don't make fun of nobody. So it bit you twice on your left hand side, right? But it hit the seat like that, but I've been dog bit worse than I've been snake bit. I got, <laughs> I got attacked by a German Shepherd one time, and I tell you, it hurt me a whole lot worse than the snake did. Yeah. And these snake handling churches have had their fair share of run ins with the law, but Pastor Morrow defends their constitutional rights. The states and the Tennessee Supreme Court made the decision we can handle snakes as long as we don't endanger nobody. And they can't outlaw my religion, and they can't outlaw yours. They can't punish me for mine, they can't punish you for your own. That's the Constitution of the United States. Reporting from the Edwina Church of God, I'm Danny Kennedy. <laughs>